So you buy a greenhouse, you put it up, and it's nice and warm during the day. But then nighttime comes, and it's freezing. Wait a minute, I thought greenhouses were supposed to stay warm all the time. Hi everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Sarah and Kevin. And we're back out in the greenhouse today. We wanted to talk to you guys about something that uh, we were probably a little over hopeful about uh, when we bought the greenhouse. Maybe a little naive. A little naive, that's probably a good word. You know, this is the first time we've ever uh, had a greenhouse and we are extremely happy with it. Uh, it we've, we couldn't have asked for a better uh, kit to have purchased. Uh, the company that we bought it from has just been amazing in helping us with any problems uh, that we've had, which have mostly been our own fault because we didn't know what we were doing. Not only has GrowerSolution.com been super helpful to us, uh, but they also want to be super helpful to you guys. So we've been talking with them, and we've actually got a coupon code set up now uh, specifically for those of you who watch our videos, uh, and it'll give you 10% off on the entire order that you place with them not just on greenhouses but everything on their website uh, except they did tell me not on shade cloth or on uh, name plaques but everything else on their website uh, you know uh, seed trays and plants and pots and, and entire greenhouse greenhouse green, entire greenhouse packages so anything on their website you'll get 10 percent off we'll give you that coupon code at the end of this video but there are some challenges to having the style of greenhouse uh, that is completely unheated. Um, now, we live in Missouri where it doesn't get super, super cold, uh, but it does definitely get down in, you know, the 20s and, and you know, way below freezing. Uh, so we thought that if the greenhouse heated up during the day, it would at least retain some of that heat overnight. Uh, but I'll be honest, by the time the sun goes down, uh, it's no warmer in the greenhouse. Uh, than it is outside. So what can we do? Uh, you know, we bought this greenhouse uh, really for the main purpose, at least initially, to be able to start our seeds um, and have them ready for spring for our own garden and to sell at the farmer's markets. Um, so so what did we do? You know, there are several options that uh, people have to heating an unheated greenhouse. Um, you know, we thought about all of them. We did a bunch of research and, and uh, we want to show you what we ended up doing. Uh, but some of the options that we didn't go with, uh, number one is just to install a heating system. Right. Uh, you can put double wall plastic in and then have, you know, an air fan that's pumping air in there to keep it warm. Uh, there are ways to produce heat within your greenhouse without having uh, to use electricity like uh, putting your compost piles in here, uh, which will create heat and keep right. it from freezing. And we're not saying that we won't do any of these down the road, uh, but since we just got the greenhouse up this winter, um, you know, we were out of time to do any of the, anything major for this year. We needed to get growing in the greenhouse. We needed to get up and running as quickly as possible. So uh, we may do some of these things down the road, uh, but not not right now. Absolutely. And uh, one thing that's very intriguing uh, that we might do in the future is uh, incorporating something that uh, absorbs heat during the day and retains that heat throughout the night, uh, which are like black water barrels. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we had to come up with something quick uh, to keep our seedlings from freezing. Now, you know, there is an option of bringing them all into the house, uh, but we didn't want to uh, have to bring them in and out, in and out, and we're doing a volume now that we wouldn't be able to withstand in the house. Right. We also looked at insulating one of the rooms in one of our barns um, and being able to move them into one, into one of our barns every night, uh, but that also would have been just a big uh, time commitment every day, and we know ourselves well enough to know that we'd probably go, oh, it's probably not going to get that cold tonight, and then there's a good chance we would end up losing some of our plants. So I want to show with you uh, the quick fix that has been working out really well. Uh, we've been using this system for about three weeks now, and all of our seedlings are doing well, and they're thriving. So uh, we are super excited to show you what's working for us. This is the solution that we came up with. Uh, this was actually our solar food dehydrator uh, when we lived in Arizona, and I've made some modifications to it to actually turn it into a warming box 
uh, for overnight that we can put our plants in. Uh, it's been working really, really well. Uh, we've now been using it for about three weeks. Uh, I kind of hinted around to you guys in a video a few weeks ago that I was working on something, but I didn't want to tell you about it until we've actually used it for a while uh, to make sure that it was actually going to work. So um, what I've done is I've installed a heat lamp inside of here. Uh, it's one uh, 250 watt uh, infrared heat lamp, um, and that has been keeping this on average 20 degrees warmer uh, than what it is outside. So uh, if it's getting down to 30 outside, it's been keeping it at 50 degrees inside of this box overnight, uh, which has been plenty warm for keeping our seedlings uh, nice and warm. And then during the day, we can move them back out onto the racks out here in the greenhouse. Now uh, let's come closer and I'll show you inside. So the top is glass. It's actually made out of an old sliding glass uh, porch door. Um, and I actually have another one of these that I brought all the way with me from Arizona. So I'm actually going to build a second one of these coming up uh, because it's been working that well. So overnight, uh, we turn on this heat lamp inside. It's down on this end. It's just a standard heat lamp that you can buy at the store. Um, and again, that's been keeping everything about 20 degrees warmer than it is outside. Now, on a day when it's right kind of borderline during the day, we can also leave things in here until it warms up enough. And because of the glass in here, you know, it's kind of a double protection from the, from the elements. We've got the greenhouse warming up, and then this warms up even more. So it's been working out really well. You can see the plants inside are doing great. So every day, uh, we just come out. And in the morning, as soon as it gets warm enough in the greenhouse, which uh, we consider anything over 55 to be warm enough in the greenhouse, then we just start moving the plants onto the shelves for the day so they can get all the sun that they need. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do now. Some of the things we're growing in here uh, right now, uh, we have leaf lettuce, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, um, spinach, and I have some other seeds that are kind of cold weather seeds in there too. Um, I actually have a couple flats of tomato starts in the house that are making their way out here uh, today. So, um, you know, those are pretty sensitive and I need to make sure that they stay warm. So this is going to be a perfect solution. You know, we're going to be spending the rest of the day today repotting a lot of these plants into four packs uh, because this weekend is the first uh, Baker Creek uh, Heritage Festival for the year. And uh, so we'll be there uh, this weekend uh, selling plants, uh, selling uh, rabbit manure, which you saw in the video uh, yesterday. Uh, I'll put a link there. Uh, but we're getting ready. It's almost that time of year where things are are starting to pick up and we're super excited. Yep, we'll be there Sunday. Right, it's Sunday uh, all day. I think it starts at 10 o'clock and goes until six o'clock in the evening. So if you're in Missouri, take a road trip. Come to Baker Creek and uh, you know, see us there. Now, you'll see inside of here, it's actually uh, two levels. And all I did was make the uh, shelves out of some pieces of old cattle panel. And those have been working really well. They allow for good airflow, uh, and they're plenty strong to hold these uh, little trays. Now, one of the main reasons why we went with this system for this year, rather than some of the other systems that we talked about, um, is really, uh, you know, money saving and using the resources that we already had available. You know, uh, we brought this all the way from Arizona. It didn't cost us a single thing in this regard. Um, and, you know, that's really important to us. Uh, we're all about saving money, and we're all about reusing things and using what we have available to us. You know, propane is super expensive. Uh, we don't even use propane to heat our house uh, because it's, it's that expensive. Uh, we have a furnace in the house, and you know what? We don't even have the pilot light lit uh, because we don't want to use the propane. So uh, we heat with wood, uh, which I don't know if that's going to ever be an option in here or not. Uh, it may be. Um, but in reality, you know, we don't have the greenhouse uh, so that we can grow plants in the ground or, or continue to garden year round. That wasn't the intention of us getting a greenhouse. Uh, our intention of a greenhouse was to be able to do what we're doing now, which is start uh, seeds and start plants uh, to be able to sell. So uh, for us, uh, we don't really have to worry about the coldest part of the winter. 
Um, we just need to worry about this little time, you know, where it's getting close to growing season, but it's still cold outside. So, um, you know, by the time most of these plants get too big to be in here, I think we'll be past our frost time here. So uh, we're not really too worried about that. In the future, we may decide to try to garden in here year round, um, but for right now, this is perfect for our needs. The other nice thing about this is that it gives us another work surface during the day. Um, you know, it's uh, so it's it, again, it's dual purpose. It keeps the plants warm. We can also work on here, and uh, you know, it, it serves uh, kind of a, a as a workstation and a heating box. So even though there can be challenges uh, working with an unheated greenhouse, we are still so glad that we made the investment. There are a lot of ways to overcome those challenges. Right. And I think that we've found something that's going to work for us uh, this year and probably uh, well into the future. Uh, we're so happy that we got connected with GrowerSolution.com. They have been a dream to work with. Right. And you guys, remember, now if you go to their website and you uh, place an order, it can be for a greenhouse or for anything else that they sell, um, you can uh, just enter code TRADITIONALIST10 at checkout and get 10% off your entire order. Uh, so uh, that's a, a coupon that will be uh, live on their website uh, starting now. So uh, go there and make sure that you do that. You guys, if this uh, video was helpful to you, we sure hope that you will hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who comes back every day, we're so happy uh, that you continue to come back. Uh, if you're in Missouri, don't forget to come uh, to Baker Creek this weekend. It's going to be a fun time. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Yes. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care, and God bless. God bless.